Hey guys, Rashad here from rmbsingingLessons.com with another singing pitch trainer tutorial. Today we're going to learn chords. I'm going to teach you how to sing a chord, how to identify the notes in a chord and how to be one of those notes in the chord. So you can learn to harmonize, let's say if you want to sing in a choir or if you want to sing with yourself with an app such as a cappella from Pick Play Post. You know the one where they have you on the like multiple versions of the same person all singing at the same time that kind of thing so I'm going to teach you how to know if you're what the notes of a chord are and how to sing those notes of a chord okay here we go so it's kind of like ear training mixed with harmony training mixed with chord training it's a mix of things okay so we go into the sequence page okay we're there record okay we have to select a key so let's just select the first key C major just which is just the white keys all right and what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the notes of a chord. Okay, now if you don't know what the notes of a chord are, that's fine. You can just look up any chords you want. Let's say I'm looking at I Believe I Can Fly Here by R. Kelly. This note, C, uh, this chord, C. So you just go notes in C chord, for example. Okay, and it'll give you the notes. So here we've got C, E, G. C major consists of C, E, G. That's the notes. So we just go C, E, G. There's the chord. All right, we'll stop record. And what I do now is I put it on chord mode. Okay. Notice that pressing chord mode takes away the chart below that measures your voice because when you're singing a chord, it's multiple notes simultaneously. So this doesn't measure, this only measures one note at a time. So put on chord mode. Okay, ready? We're going to listen to it. It plays it as a chord. Okay, so it's playing it for you as a chord. I'm going to put it on repeat, and I'm going to slow it down to 12, so it slows, it takes, it elongates the time much longer. So here we go. Mm -hmm. I know the notes, because I've practiced it already. One, three, five. Okay, one, three, three, three. There's a middle note three, the E, five. All right. So, how do you learn it? Okay, we'll go one note at a time. So let's D. Let's just select the note we want. So I just want the first note. One. Okay. Now I know that first note. One. Now I'm going to add the next note in, so I can hear two notes. Okay. When you when you add notes in, by the way, it stops, and you got to press play again. So now I'm going to hear the one and the three. One, I'm going to see if I can keep singing the one while I'm hearing the three. One, can I still hear the one? One, one, oh, sometimes it will only play the first note. It's like a glitch when it plays the second time. I'm working on having that fixed. One, one, hear the one there. Okay, now let's say I only want to hear the three. Three, put them together. Three, one, three, three. Okay, so it's you're gradually adding. So let's hear the five now by itself. Five, five. Okay, let's hear it with the rest. Five. Listen for that five. Listen for the five and try to block out everything else. Five. That's the second time playing. It's that glitch. Three, five, five, okay, so now, once you can he identify the note while it's being played and gradually add the notes, the next step is to be the, the note, so we're going to remove, we're going to listen to the note, let's listen to the one, one, and now we're going to add the others in, but remove that one, so we have to be the one, here we go. There we go, I'm being the one. I am the one. <laughs> one. One. See, I'm being the one. Now, if I add that one back in, listen. One. You can hear it down there. Okay, so now let's be the three. Let's listen for the three. Three. And we'll just put the others in and remove the three. Three, five, three, I'm being the three. Three, 
Sounds nice, right? When you get it right, when you harmonize it. Now I'm going to be the five. Five. Okay, I'll take away the five. So it should be five. Five. One, three, five. So yeah, you can do that with any chord you like. Okay, so let's say I want to practice the next chord in this song. What is the next chord? Uh, it's a quite a complicated chord, F minor 6 slash C. Okay, so let's look that up. That's a complicated chord, it's not a normal one. So you start with the F, F minor 6 is the chord, and the slash C is just the bass changing. <coughs> So yeah, here we go, F minor 6, it's F, A flat, C, and D. Okay, those are the notes of F minor 6. So we'll go uh, F, A flat, C, D. So record, we'll go F. Uh, I'll go in the lower octave, actually. Um, F, A flat, C, D. Okay, let's hear that. Put it on chord, it's already on chord still. That does sound weird, that low. Let's put it higher. Uh, F, A flat, C. Okay, it's a very tense chord. Uh, so we'll go. There we go, there's the chord. Mm. It's on not on repeat. There we go. So same same way you can learn that. Okay, we put it on note mode and just listen to that one note at a time. Mm. like an arpeggio that's called okay chord mode and just make sure you take off the 16th so it doesn't play quickly that's the glitch on the second play okay so you can do the same thing with any chord you want all right hope that teaches you guys about chords and um, if you want to learn more about chords I'm gonna be making a sheet which describes the notes for all the common chords and now you know how to search up any chord you want as well so yeah you can learn to train your ear to sing in harmony at the same time of f with a chord harmony not a melody harmony like we did in the previous lesson where we learned harmony hope that guys help hope that helps guys any questions let me know i'm here to support you in helping you learn your voice and while using this program i'm rishad and i'll see you next time bye